Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage, possibly even antique, Meb wheel lighter. Appears to me to be brass that is painted. Some of the paint has been lost and there is damage and wear that sort of thing as usual but also a name scrawled into one side of the bottom case. A pretty cool old lighter that uh, you don't see every day. As I said, it does show wear, scuffs, scratches, paint loss. Maybe some bubbling, even, I don't know. Other paint loss here, obviously that looks older than that. Is that looks pretty fresh or this looks like it is tarnished since that paint was chipped off I don't see anything printed or stamped on the ends like you would the brass number fives Smokestone and whatever other brand those were that had the name. That's just sort of indented, I think, from wear and use. The slider appears to have the original wick in it, and I just pulled it up and snipped it off. Almost veered off camera there. I fueled this a few days ago and it was blowing the flame out the top. So I had left it and was just now today getting around to making the video on it. It wasn't lighting reliably the other day and Still, you could see it didn't light real quick, but it also appeared to be low on fuel, or maybe that wick is contaminated with something. So, I'll probably go ahead and change the wick, or I don't really know what the value of these lighters are. I'll probably go ahead and look and see if it looks to me like it might be more valuable with that original wick in it, then I'll note that it's not lighting well and just go ahead and sell it. Otherwise, I'll re-wick it make a video for that and then go ahead and sell it most likely but either way it's not lighting reliably right now but you can see the name scrawled in there HG Stump. if you like watching videos about old petrol lighters ashtrays tobacchiana and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel Please like the video you're watching, tell your friends about the channel, hit the share button, send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay.
a very light lighter. Just made the video for the Parker table lighter a minute ago and I could hardly hold it up. My hands were going numb so quick. This lighter is a little bit different. Not quite as heavy, not near as punishing on my hands. You can see the insert here. And when I drilled the flint tube out and got the flint in there, it was very janky. It took me a long time to get that flint grooved where I could get the spring in tight enough to where it would go all the way into the case and still spark without locking up. So if this ends up being the sale video for this lighter I want to make sure and note that as well. It is marked made in Germany and then on this side MEB and I believe US patent it's approved. I can't see it right at the moment. U.S. patent, April something of 1912. So just because the patent date is on there doesn't mean this lighter is that old, but it certainly isn't older than that. But this lighter could be a hundred years old, which would make it an antique. It certainly might explain why that wick didn't want to light well. <laughs> anyway, very cool, very rudimentary design of a lighter, but very effective too. If you've ever used a brass number no. five or seen the video that I did on it, it's a very good lighter. It's a good big wheel and like I said we'll see we're probably gonna end up having some fun with this one I don't think it's worth all that much so we might as well re-wick it and get all we can get out of it some of the ones that I saw online appeared to have the scroll work or highlight or whatever the embellishment is on the upper portion of the case they appeared to have that on the insert so I don't know maybe this insert is worn down to where you just can't see it or maybe they weren't all like that. According to the Toledo Bend BCL site, MEB or MEB stood for Emmy Bernard Lighters, which was a New York company. Uh, Mr. Bernard was apparently originally from Austria and ended up importing many lighters from Austria and Germany to the US in the first couple decades of the 20th century. Make sure you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store. Every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least 10% going to the charity. We also run three penny start auctions each month, where 100% of the proceeds of those listings go to HDSA. I started a penny, I provide free shipping. High bidder pays the money, gets the lighter, Everybody is happy. Make sure that you 
follow us on eBay so you get the notifications when those new listings come up. Make sure you don't miss out on them. Also, make sure here on the YouTube channel that you hit the bell so that you're notified each time we publish a new video rather than waiting to just run into it at a later date. I'm not going to light that again, like I said, it didn't, wasn't acting right as far as the fuel or the wick, so we're either going to sell it as it is or have another video on it. Until next time.